This is the most important thing, that you're alive right now is the most important thing in your life. This video explains three things about VO2 Max. Number one, why leading scientists believe that VO2 Max is the leading health indicator. Number two, we explain three ways to measure VO2 Max and we present a table which shows how to calculate your biological age from VO2 Max. Number three, we show exercises which help to improve VO2 Max and give example how I improved my VO2 Max by 7% in just four weeks. Finally, at the end, we do together a short VO2 Max exercise so you get a feel for it. There is no metric that is more highly correlated with the length of a person's life than their VO2 max. It is testing your maximal consumption of oxygen. The higher that number is, the more oxygen your muscles can utilize, the more fit you are, the healthier you are, the more capacity you have to avoid illness. It is longevity benefit that comes from improving your VO2 max is from people starting from a below average VO2 max and moving anywhere above average. So even going from a below normal VO2 max for your age group and gender to a low normal is associated with a 2.1 year increase in life expectancy. Bumping that up, going from a below, below normal to high normal VO2 max is associated with a 2.9 year increase in life expectancy. And going even further to the upper limit of normal is associated with 4.9 years, so almost. So the VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen that you can absorb and use during exercise. The measure of the VO2 max in athletes, you know, a healthy 20 to 25, 29 year old, will be able to do 55 ml per minute over a certain period of time. Somebody my age would be probably in the range of, of 42 would be very good. Less than 25 would be bad. Three ways to measure VO2 max. Number one is so-called VO2 max gas analysis test. You need to do it in a specialized lab and obviously it costs money. Way number two is to use smartwatches like Garmin or Apple Watch, which will calculate your auto max for you. However, you need to know that it takes time. Finally, you can calculate your auto max after a five minute test, which can be done for free at home, and you can do it anytime. We developed this test together with a scientist from the University of Cambridge, and it's available in our blood pressure app Breath Now for free. The question is, so how do we maintain our VO2 max? How do we enhance our ability to use oxygen? And it, it goes back to no pain, no gain, uh, <laughs> in the sense of high intensity interval training is probably the optimal way to push yourself to do wind sprints or to walk as fast as you can or take the steps, not the elevator. You know, whatever you can do to push your body you know, you stress, you have to stress the body. We need stress to become better, stronger, faster, higher. Here is one of the most popular exercises to improve VO2 max. There's another type of VO2 max training protocol. It's the one minute on, one minute off protocol. This is where you perform one minute of intervals at the highest intensity you can do for one minute. And then it's followed by a one minute recovery period. And then you repeat this interval pattern 10, um, or maybe five times for about 25 minutes or so. And this protocol also is effective at improving VO2 max. In fact, this is exactly the exercise which I used for the last four weeks to improve my VO2 max by 7%. Finally, let's do together a short VO2 max exercise which will give you a feel of how this exercise works. Let's do it together now.